happy Monday. Hello there, lovely people. So um, I thought I would do a nice little video just going over. We've had a lot of new people um, join the team over the last week or so. So welcome. This is super exciting. So I just wanted to go over the real basics of how you can get started earning straight away with this business. So um, first things first is obviously letting people know what you are doing. So um, what I will do in the post in this in this video in the comments, I will pop um, a really great post that you can put out there to get the conversation started and let people know what you were up to. I usually suggest that like the first thing you do is just use like a little gear for a little photo, just saying, I'm excited. Um, and that is a really great way of getting things up and running and started. So then, once you've got that out there, what I would suggest is you want to go into the uh, albums on here and there's lots of story photos already made up around the products. So have a think about the products that you want to actually start to share. Maybe think about the products that you personally want to use. So for example, um, you've got obviously the Activize, um, you've got the Restorate, um, I would also suggest the power cocktail and I would then look at bringing those two together. So you've got when you have the power cocktail and the rest rate, that is the optimal set. So then you can start talking about the optimal set and also um, the beauty products. So they're kind of the top sellers that I've come across so far with regards to the business. And there are lots of stories. Um the Restorate is a really nice one to start out with just because it's a really affordable product and, um, you know, you can get in the UK a month's supply for like £25.95 um, as a customer and £20 as a team partner and I do trials of that so it comes in handy little sachets and you can do trials of that for like five days for £8. So it's a really, really... Um, really great entry product for people to try and the results are amazing i literally had a lady the other day who um she started on the activize and straight uh, sorry on the rest rate straight away she's talking to me about how she can get the rest rate and the power cocktail together as an optimal set because she wants to use the two together and she wants to talk about those products so it's a really affordable way of people starting to try the products and then they will like start to then order and, you know, try other things. So the only way that people are going to be able to know about these products is you telling them about them. So using your stories is really the best way to do that because the stories are all there. They're all made up. They've got the results on there. They've got what the products do. Um, you know, they're all pretty and you can just put them into your stories and people are really accepting of things like that in stories so and it kind of feels like a way you can just kind of start to slip in what you are doing so pop those things in your stories and then the key thing then is reaching out afterwards to the people that are viewing your story to say thanks for viewing my story really appreciate it you know maybe just started out in my business so it's really nice you know that people are viewing and seeing what I'm doing if you want to know anything more about what I'm doing then please just you know let me know and what you will find is is that there are so many people who are viewing your story who might not message out who might not reach out to you but the moment you reach out to them they say yeah, yeah, actually, I would really love to know about that. And they viewed your story. So, you know, it's not a surprise to them, or they might just say, oh, God, it looks really great, you know, what you're doing. Um, but you're just thanking them for their support. And they'll be like, oh, well, you know, that's great. I, I wish you all the best kind of thing. But starting those conversations and messaging out from those stories is where your customers are going to come from. 
So then you will start to chat to those people. Now, obviously, at this moment in time, you have a certain amount of people who are going to be seeing your stories. What we want to do is, is we want for that to be more people seeing your stories. So if you're on Facebook and you're putting them in your stories, then it's the people on Facebook seeing your stories. But you'll be able to see who viewed it. Now, you know, I've got like over 3,000 people and I average around 150 people that might view a story. So what's important there is, is that not all of the people are seeing your stories all the time. So hence you have to keep that consistency going because what I'm finding is, is that I will be constantly putting different stories up. And then one week it's 150 people and it's one lot of 150 people. And then the next week or the next day or even the next hour, it's different people all the time that are viewing your story. So you want to be reaching out to people all of the time saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. If people are viewing it multiple times, then just say, I, I'm doing little voice notes now and I think they are a really lovely little way especially when somebody maybe is viewing something multiple times. So you can start out with, say, maybe a message saying, thank you for viewing my story. If you'd like to know any more, let me know. If, say, somebody's, like, viewing it four or five times, just send a little voice note saying, I really do appreciate your support. It really does mean the world. That person might not be interested in purchasing. They might just be watching your story, but just thanking them is a really lovely thing to do. So... That is the absolute key. And then obviously, um, if you're on Instagram, the same again, you know, they're going to be new people, all different people all the time. What we also want to do, though, is not just rely on. So if you're on Facebook and say, for example, you've got maybe a thousand friends on Facebook. We don't want to rely upon those thousand friends on Facebook or maybe you've got like a few hundred followers on Instagram. We don't want to be reliant upon just those people. So what we want to do is to start to reach out and make connections with other people. So on Facebook, it's a case of sending out friend requests. Um, you know, it's um, when you first start out in the business, I would suggest going to, you know, your school friends, your work colleagues from past work, current work, and just starting to expand that friends list okay you can have up to five thousand well you can have five thousand friends on facebook and um i am constantly removing friends who maybe i've said like happy birthday to them for four years in a row and they've never come back to me and that happens so don't be afraid of that it's fine it happens to everybody um or and then adding in new friends as well so constantly just sending out those friend requests and you know set yourself little challenges you know um at this moment in time I have a challenge that I want to expand my friends list in South Africa and Wales <laughs> so <laughs> it can be anywhere it can be you know I want to expand it locally it can be um I've got a relative actually in Australia, for example. You may have a relative in Australia. You may have a relative in America. Pick a different country. Like, get really, um, you know, think big with this. And, you know, it's sometimes it can be quite scary to uh, be sending friend requests out to people who, you know, might be local, who you've maybe not connected with previously. So go completely out of... The day, you know, go go into a completely different area in the country or a completely different country, you know, just, and if you want to know how to do that, just message me and we'll have a look at your friends list and we'll work out how the best way is for you to do that. Something I've done in the past is like add friends who um, send friend requests to beauticians or people who do like hair extensions or lashes or any of those kind of things because... Um, you know, that they, they will very often be, you know, really keen and open to, you know, accepting other people's friend requests. And then you can start to build up in that area. So, for example, in Wales, I've got a couple of girls 
who I'm friends with in Wales. I've just wished one of them a happy birthday. Saw her region and thought, do you know what? Let's have a little look. So I'm going in and I'm seeing how many people, you know, oh, click in the friends list. This person has got like suggested friends. Oh, this girl here has five mutual friends with me, two mutual friends with me. Be brave. Maybe they don't have any mutual friends with you. Uh, you know, and be sending be sending out um, at least 10 friend requests every day. That's the challenge, okay? It's, it's that consistency. It's that consistency of sending out those 10 friend requests every single day and then those people that are viewing your stories and you're messaging them every single day saying, thank you for viewing my story. It's having those stories up. It's just that consistency. It's literally... Every single day, you are giving yourself, you know, 30 to 40 minutes on this business as a minimum. And that's where you will start to see the income coming in. It really is that simple. If you are doing those things, you will get customers and you will have people looking to join your team, become a team partner with you. On, on um, Instagram, it's the same again. You're messaging out those people who are viewing your story. But on Instagram, you've got so many other possibilities that you can use. You can be using hashtags on your posts. So put up a public post. Doesn't even have to be about the business. Put up a post about how you've taken your dog for a walk and put all of these different hashtags about how your dog walking. And then when people view your story and you message them and say, thank you for viewing my story, that person is just, you know, they've seen your story. They've seen it's about the business. They've seen it's about the products. But you're connecting with them because, you know, they like dogs too. You know, it's it's little things like that that are so simple to do. And again, set yourself these little challenges of saying which country, you know, you might watch a TV program and you think to yourself, do you know what? I'm going to get friendly with other people who love this TV program as well. You've got something in common with those people. It could well be that you speak to them, you know, if you've got like, um, like myself with my perimenopause, like a health condition, or I'm a mum of boys, you know, think about the things that make you, you, where you can connect with other people too. And start to post about those things on your profile and start to add the stories about the products and the business and the rest will follow. I promise you the rest will follow, but you have to do those things and you have to do those things consistently. And when you are doing those things consistently, I know because I see you getting the customers and I see you, you're asking the questions about the products and you're asking the questions about how you would share about the business so do those things, send those messages out, thank people for supporting your business and your products. It really is that simple. And if you'd like to know any more, let me know. That's all you're saying to people. It really is so simple. And it's the absolute crux of how you're going to grow this business and grow your income. So um, if you've got any questions, please just let me know. I can't wait to support you even more. And I will put lots of information in the comments to help you in this next step. Bye bye.